I guess that's sort of kind of what happened. Uh, it was kind of uh, happenstance, but yet at the same time, after two years there, I felt like I had done an awful lot in terms of the opportunities that we had presented to us of, of different kinds of things to experiment with. I had designed a set, a couple different sets. I had, uh, I had directed a couple different things. Um, I had acted in almost every venue there was to act in there. Um, I learned about different kinds of theater that, you know, I would have been just as fortunate to have stayed another two years, but um, I auditioned for the Juilliard School and got in, and I was focusing more on my, my acting than I was on my studies, so it just seemed the right thing for me to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's the way it went. It was interesting, as Gary said, no, it wasn't as if they stole him from us. It was more <laughs> like we felt it was a feather in our cap that he had, you know, because it was so unusual for somebody to get in that early in their oh, wow. educational career to go to Juilliard was a big deal for wow. them. They were really proud of you. There was an, I'm, I'm glad. Yeah. I, I'm proud to have gone there. I learned so much, and I it was so, it was such a fantastic jumping off point for starting a, a career as a professional actor because. I learned about the history, you know, theater history class. Um, Michael Hackett's theater history class was amazing. You know, a full year of writing a, a, a paper every week on a new play, you know, prepared me so much for, for, um, for a, a, what could have been a, an entire life in the theater in terms of exposing me to what, where, where it had come from, and where it had, you know, where it was going, and um, he he was so passionate about the class and it, very inspiring, and uh, I carry that in my back pocket, you know, we all did, and um, yeah, um, but yeah, UCLA was a tremendous place for me, okay. and uh, I'm I'm really here because of it, you know, in an odd way, McLean, you know, picked me out of nowhere and just sort of gave me some opportunities and he you know he, he helped me audition for Juilliard he was the one who took me into a room and made me do my monologues for him and kicked my butt really hard to make sure that that uh, that when I got into the room and I was actually going to present my monologues for them that I was ready I remember the first time I went through one of my monologues with him he said well if you're going to do that you might not as well go and it was like well there's a slap in the face and I needed it and um, he was right you know and that's just, you know, one of the sparks, you know. These are very special teachers. They were passionate people. They're still passionate people. Um, and I'm grateful when I get a chance to see them again. And I, you know. Um, but, yeah, UCLA was, was a tremendous place, and I'm sure it still is.